Well, hello and welcome to a very wet and windy Clifton Lane. Two changes for Bristol this week. Gavin Henson makes a return after suffering from a wrist injury. He starts at fly half. And Jack Wallace also makes a return to the first team, starting in the fullback position. And Callum Sheedy is named among the replacements who could make his championship debut if he comes on off the bench today. Cliff poised to put the ball in five metre scrum. Bristol were awarded a penalty, elected to take the scrum rather than the points, battling with the wind in this first half, of course. Very steady scrum. We just see Edie picking his head up off the back, picks and goes. Cliff Van Del fighting his way over the line as he crossed. Cheers and arms fly up in the air, and eventually the referees does as well. Tom Van Del gets the first try of the afternoon for Bristol. And penalty led to the first scrum five metres out of the day. Ely picked up and pulled the ball out the back, half broke Cliff and shifted the ball out. Henson's conversion is good, a difficult position out there on the touchline with the wind. And Bristol up to seven. Bristol line out ball, Glynn pushes it back. Lamb off the back of what you'd have expected to be a ball. Lemmy outside, Cliff cuts back, Mosses for the corner. And he's in. Bristol get a second try moments after the first. Ben Mosses on the end of a neat offload from Lemmy. But it came off the top of the line out. Jack Lamb broke off the side and only a matter of time before Bristol tied in enough Rotherham defenders to make the score into the corner through Ben Mosses. Nice initial break from Lemmy. Henson from the opposite side of the field to the last. And that conversion curls around and slips inside the posts. Bristol 14, Rotherham nil. First real opportunity for the home side, then five metres from the Bristol line, playing with 14 men at the moment, of course. They get the ball in, secure it at the line out and try and set a drive. Andy Robinson said pre-match they're going to try and exploit their forwards' dominance and they're doing that, battering towards the line at the drive and they're over Rotherham with a catch and drive score 18 minutes in down to 14 men but from 5 metres out on their own turf you struggle to keep them out very well done Rotherham have got other ideas down to 14 still breaking towards the line get the ball away and Rotherham look like they may well have gone in the corner Right down the far end from the commentary position here, but the referee lifts his arm up. And I think it was Sean Scanlon that went in for Rotherham's second try. A really well-worked move off the top of the line out, just tying in Bristol defenders in the midfield and stretching the defence. There was enough space out there for Scanlon to tear up the wing and get over for Rotherham's second score of the afternoon. Bristol will fancy the chances here. Penalty and a long touch finder from Henson have given them this platform. The ball's pushed back. It looked like Lamb, who has handed the ball. Since then, Jones has joined them all as well. I can just about see the seven of Lamb's shirt popping up at the back. Bristol start to eke forward, though. Crabbing infield towards the post. Lamb's at the back with a ball in his hands. And Bristol fracture sideways, marching towards the Rotherham line. Surely crossed here. And if I'm not mistaken, it's Jack Lamb in possession at the back. And Bristol have got a third try just to the left-hand side of the uprights. And that is Jack Lamb getting up with the ball. Pats on the back for him. Henson's conversion is good. And Bristol have got three tries. And the kicking's 100% as well. Slow ball, though. Right at the other end of the field from the commentary position hit. Have Bristol cross this time though. Just short once again. Slow ball, another pick and go off the back. Ball staying with the forwards. Idiot pace. And he's over. Bristol have got the bonus point early in the second half. It looked like Mitch Eady crossing for Bristol's fourth. Just to the right hand side of the uprights. A long, lengthy drive from Bristol. 
led to the ball being in a decent enough position to batter their way over. And Henson's conversion is good. Bristol make the perfect start to the second half. Bristol keep the scoreboard ticking over. Penalty for Gavin Henson. An extra three points. Yidi gets up from the pile of bodies at the back. Bristol still about a metre short. Going in search of another try. Forwards working doggedly to retain possession and batter towards the line. This time the ball comes out. Support reigns in. Bristol pick and go off the back. Tries awarded. And Bristol have grabbed themselves another five points from the forwards. Pick and go after pick and go. Tying in Rotherham defenders. It was only a matter of time, really, before the visitors got over. Certainly got the momentum in the second half. Rotherham driving towards the Bristol line. The wor line out worked out pretty well. Bristol is splintering under the Rotherham pack's power. It has gone down to the ground. Advantage coming for Rotherham, so a free play here for them. Try and make something happen in midfield, get the offload away. And Rotherham have gone in to score through the centre. They had a free play. It was all but on for them. Bristol spread the defence across, expecting the ball to go wide. They kept it inside. They've got themselves a try with around 10 minutes remaining. Still a long way to go to get back in the game. 